In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a basic integration with RSO and Okta SAML authentication. For advanced configuration, see step one in the associated KA for the link to the relevant documentation. Please note, Okta is a third party application, so also refer to the Okta documentation for any Okta specific information. The first step is to configure the RSO service provider configuration. Set the SP entity ID to a value that you want. So I'm going to use RSO. Set the external URL to the RSO URL. Now save. Here you can see I've already created an Okta account and logged in to the dashboard. So now to create the SAML integration, we click Applications, Applications, Create App Integration, select SAML 2.0 and click Next. Set an application name, for example, I will set this to RSSO. If you wanted to have a logo, you can upload it here. And now we just click next. OK, so now we need to fill out the single sign on URL. So you can see it will be HTTP or HTTPS. Your RSO server, FQDN, colon port if required, slash RSO slash receiver. In the audience URL, we need to have the same URL, but not with receiver. So RSO star. OK, select the name ID, format to transient. The application name is Oxford username. And now click next. Now, depending on what you want to do, you can say you're an Okta customer and creating an internal app or a software vendor. So um, I'm selecting I'm a software vendor. And now I click finish. OK, here you can see you've got the metadata URL, so I will copy that for later. OK, and I'm now going to assign my username. Click save and go back. I'm done. I now need to associate my Remedy user with my Okta user. So I edit the user again. And here you can see I've associated the demo user with my Okta user. So now click save. The final step that we need to do is to configure the Realm for SAML. So open the RSO admin console again, go to Realm, edit the Realm that you need to add SAML authentication to, change the authentication type to SAML, click Import and add the URL that we saved from the Okta console and click import again. As you see, all these fields have been auto populated. So the final setting we need to do is set the user ID attribute to Okta user name. And as this is only a simple integration with SAML, we just need to save now. So all we now need to do is test to see whether the authentication works, which we will do in the next step. Now we can see if the test to log in via SAML works. Um, I'm using the mid tier in this instance. So you can see now we're redirected to RSO, which will redirect to the Okta login. Right, so when you're pre presented with this sign in, use the Oxy username and password.
that you um, associated with your remedy user. Sign in. And now you can see I've been redirected to the mid tier, so I have logged in successfully via SAML. Thank you for watching this video.